somebody who's right in the thick of all of this right now, Congressman Steny Hoyer. He is the House Minority Whip, uh, Congressman out of Maryland. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Um, I just want to ask you about the deal or no deal. How, how is this going? Uh, has progress been made since the late night into the night talks? Well, uh, I, there's no deal now, as far as I know, uh, from what I've heard this morning. Uh, there's still work on it. Uh, what we're going to be trying to do today is to make sure that we keep government uh, operating over the next seven days with a very simple uh, agreement. Uh, we call it a clean CR in, in the jargon, which simply means that we're going to keep things going as they're going now while we're negotiating and trying to reach a deal. Shutting down the government uh, will have a very negative effect on the economy. Millions of people throughout the country, as well as our federal right. employees and the services they perform. So it's, it's not a good thing to do. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we've seen this uh, uh, scenario played out before but let me in 1995. Right, I just want to ask you a quick, quick question because you're talking, when you say a clean CR, you mean the continuing resolution. Didn't the House put, put one together, uh, didn't House uh, GOP put one together that had something uh, having to do with defense that was a sticking point for, uh, for Democrats? Defense was not the sticking point. There were other riders within that bill. Uh, which clearly the president uh, has indicated he wouldn't sign. The Senate said they wouldn't pass. Uh, so we made the point that it ought to be clean, meaning simply dealing solely with numbers. Uh, the defense issue was not the issue. The issue was the riders. Uh, Mitch Daniels, the governor of Indiana, Republican, former chair of the former head of the uh, OMB, uh, said, look, these riders ought to be for bills. What you want to do is solve the financial uh, issues confronting the country. We've come 70 percent of the way towards what the Republicans uh, uh, wanted to do. I think anybody that goes 70 percent of the way thinks they've gone a pretty far way towards reaching reasonable agreement uh, on restraining spending. In the campaign, I never heard anybody say uh, you're going to restrain spending if you do uh, this, that, or the other. They said restrain spending. We, we're doing that. I would hope the Republicans uh, would deal with that issue and then deal with their other issues uh, on later bills. They'll have that opportunity. Uh Congressman Hoyer, you, um, to some degree, it's, it's benefited the, the Democrats that the Republicans are having some struggle uh, on this. We spoke to uh, your colleague, Congressman uh, Alan West, earlier, who said he is stuck to his $61 billion in cuts. We may be close to $40 billion in cuts. That's not enough to move him. You've got others on the Republican Party who uh, say that they want to deal with Planned Parenthood and they want to deal with restricting the Environmental Protection Agency, uh, and they don't want to budge on that. But the reality is if the Republicans can't get it together, if the Tea Party Republicans and the regular Republicans can't get it together and there's a shutdown, it, it shines that light right back on the Democrats who didn't pass this budget when they controlled both houses. So what have you got to do to get their maneuvering in line? Well, let me talk about we didn't pass a budget. You'll recall the reason that the Senate couldn't get a budget up on the floor was because uh, 41 Republicans uh, held tight against consideration of those bills. Uh, so it's a little bit, uh, as uh, my friend Hal Rogers said last night from Kentucky, uh, the orphan uh, who killed both of his parents and then uh, begs for mercy from the court because he's an orphan. Uh, the Republicans would not allow bills to move in the Senate. You know that. I know that. Uh, the American people probably aren't as focused on why bills couldn't move, but it was because Harry Reid couldn't get 60 votes. So on the one hand, they're saying, look, you didn't pass the bills, which they precluded us doing. And on the other hand, they say, as a result, uh, you're to blame. Uh, that doesn't, uh, that dog doesn't, as they say in Texas. And the fact is, we now have an opportunity, uh, having come 70% of the way they wanted to come on cutting spending, an important objective of both parties. Mm. Uh, we've come 70% their way, and right. they're still saying no deal. The founder of the uh, uh, Tea Party Patriots said last night in an interview with Chris Matthews, uh, if Boehner came out with $99 billion in cuts, would you make a deal? And his response was, no. They wanted right, but, 100 or nothing. But then again, Michelle Bachman, in, 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 uh, who's the Tea Party Caucus leader, said, <laughs> time to, you're laughing, but she said it, it's an, it, it is our job to get a budget done. Well, I, I, I think she's absolutely right. And I hope she follows through on that, and I hope her people follow through on that. And very frankly, we're going to give them an opportunity to, to do that today, uh, which is doing what we have always done uh, when Democrats were in control of the, uh, of the House uh, and George Bush was in control of the Senate, we came to an agreement. We didn't shut down government. We did have disagreements. And where we had disagreements and we knew the president wouldn't agree, uh, we frankly uh, uh, gave in to the president under those circumstances because we knew uh, that you have to, in a democracy, come to compromise so that you can act. Uh, we need to do that today.
All right. Congressman uh, Steny Hoyer, uh, House of Minority Whip, thanks so much for joining us this morning, and, and good luck. You guys you are going to need it today for sure. We, you're, you're correct on that. Thank you very much. Uh, coming up on American Morning, uh, we're going to talk to you.